Good morning, class. So first grade, I promised you yesterday when I was filming the videos that I would make a read aloud because that's one of my favorite things to do as a teacher and I'm not getting to do it very much. And so I said I was going to do it, but then I got home and I had all these other things to do and I was so tired that I f fell asleep early and I forgot. So now it's 630 and I got up early so I could make this read aloud for you. Um, I'm going to be a little quiet because it's still early, so some people in my house are still asleep. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to read you some stories from this book. Um, this is a book that my family had when I was your age, and I really liked it. It's called Chloe and Maud. What are, what kind of animals are Chloe and Maud? Right, they're cats, and that's by Sandra Boynton. So there's three stories in here. I think I'll have time to read you two of them. I really like the illustrations too. I think Sandra Boynton does the pictures as well. All right, story number one is called The Art Lesson. Chloe loved to draw. She drew magical castles and angry dancing dragons. She drew, drew trains with lots and lots of cars. She drew spaghetti, her friend Maud, families, forests, and elephants. Chloe's friend Maud did not like to draw. But Maud, said Chloe, you draw very well. Just look at this nice jump rope you made. That's supposed to be a snake, said Maud, and I'm going home. And I'm never going to make another picture as long as I live. And I don't care if everyone thinks you're so great just because your pictures look like what they're supposed to. So goodbye. But she wasn't watching where she was going. And what do you think's going to happen? Oh, do you think she's going to trip on that can of paint? We'll see. This is what happened. Run, 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 run. Kick, splash. Kick, splash. Run, 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 run. Roll, 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 roll. Ah, uh, trip. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Boom. Wow, said Chloe. Look at that great painting you made. I could never do anything that dramatic. Let's make more paintings, said Maud. So all morning long, while well, Chloe drew dragons and castles and trains and Maud and spaghetti and forests and families and elephants and wizards and other things. Maud painted adagio in green, sunset in motion, and color calypso. And after lunch, they worked together. All right, that is the first story. I already read story number two to second grade, and I think I'm going to post this for them too. So we'll go to story number three. Story number three is called Overnight. Maud came to Chloe's house to spend the night. First, they had dinner at their own special table. Then they played scary monsters until it was time to get ready or bed. Chloe and Maud tested the bed to make sure it was soft. Then they climbed under the cover. Good night, Maud, said Chloe, and she turned out the light. Good night, Chloe, said Maud. What was that? said Maud. What was what? asked Chloe. That 
whirring and gurgling noise like, like a monster swallowing. Chloe listened a minute. Then she turned the light back on. That's just the washing machine, Chloe said. Do you need a nightlight? Yes, said Maud. Please. Chloe went and turned on her little desk lamp. Then she climbed back into bed and turned the big light back off. Good night again, Maud, she said. Sleep well. Good night, Chloe, said Maud. I don't know about you, but when I was younger, I really liked having a nightlight on when I was asleep. Soon, Chloe was fast asleep. Maud was staring at the ceiling. The ceiling had a crack in it. It looked like a crack for a while. Then it started looking like a mouth. If I keep watching it, thought Maud, then it can't get me. As long as I don't shut my eyes, I'm safe. Maud stared at the crack, at the crack for about 50 hundred hours. Then her eyes slowly closed. See the crack there? Looks like she's imagining all kinds of different monster mouths it could be. Suddenly Maud realized that she had stopped watching. She sat up and yelled, no, you can't get me, I'm still awake. What, 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 said Chloe. What, who's that, what? So there's her. She woke up. All right. Chloe, it's me, Maud. I've been guarding you so you'll be safe, but I almost fell asleep and it nearly got us. What nearly got us? asked Chloe. The ceiling. What? That crack is a mouth, explained Maud. See? Now listen, Maud, said Chloe. You are being ridiculous. I'm tired, and you must be tired. And there are no monsters and no mouths in the ceiling. Now we have to go to sleep, right? Maud said, I'm sorry, Chloe. You're right. I'm really sorry. I'll go right to sleep now. Good night. Maud lay down and soon Chloe heard her lightly snoring. Now the house seemed very, very quiet. Chloe looked out the window. It was very, very dark. Chloe lay back and pulled up the covers. She closed her eyes. She opened them again. You know, she thought, Maud was right. That crack really does look like a mouth. Maud, Chloe whispered. Maud, are you awake? Maud didn't answer. Chloe didn't know what to do. She was too tired to stay awake and too scared to go to sleep. Well, thought Chloe, if I don't want that crack to be a mouth, I'll just have to change it. She closed her eyes and imagined herself painting. First, she added green to make a hill. Then she painted in a river and a lake. Now Chloe imagined that she added a rainbow, some trees, three birds, and a setting sun. Finally, she put in two friends climbing the hill. There, thought Chloe, it's done. My picture is called Chloe and Maud. And then she fell asleep. All right, class, thanks for letting me read to you, and I hope you have a lovely weekend.